Um, I will plead with them for my people, for my heritage, when they have scattered amongst the nations and part of my land. See, today, the sign of Jehovah, we read in the uh, Bible, is what? That was a place, a city, uh, a place in Israel. All right? When you read about the uh, sign of Jehovah, in 2 Chronicles, the 20th chapter, verse 27, that was a place in Israel, and uh, the most high is going to bring judgment and Armageddon over there in the Middle East. So, in these last days, he's going to plead for the people. And he's going to judge these nations for what they did to us. They're not getting away from what, from what they did for, to us. And I thank the Most High, the hollow for that, because when you read all this history, you say, well, Most High don't want us no more. Yes, he do. But he wants you to know what you did and acknowledge what you did, and then you come back and you pay. Then they come back and get you. See, to a certain hour shot. See what it says there? Uh, not a job of that, and I will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage as well. See? Who's the Lord's people in heaven? It's Israelites. Israelites only. See that? And um, whom they have scattered amongst the nation and part of my land. See? That's his land. The most high looks at that land year round. Let me show you that. He cares for that land. That is his land that he gave us. That's not Israel, but right? he gave that land to Israel by promise. And he loved that land. Out of all the lands on the planet Earth, the most high loves that land and keeps his eye on that land year round. So you know them so called white people over there calling themselves Jewish people. You know what they mean. Because they tell the whites, his eyes are on that land year round. See what it says here? In uh, Deuteronomy, uh, the 11th chapter, verse 10, it says this. For the land which thou goest and to possess it, he told his orders back then, when we come out of Egypt, it is not as the land of, the, of Egypt. See, this land is like the land of Egypt. Who told you that? The most I tell you this land is different from all lands. See, it's a blessed land. A uh, land that used to flow with milk and honey, that is, uh, the beautiful times. From whence he come, wherefore thou sowest thy seed and water it with thy, with thy foot, as the God of her. For the Lord with us, he go to possess it. It is a land of hills and valleys, and drink of water, the rain of heaven. See, the most high used to bring in uh, mist from the heavens and bring it on that land. It won everything. That land was beautiful at one time. That was the old God of Eve. We read in the Bible. See? And, uh, and a man which the Lord that power cared for. See? In his twelfth verse. The eyes of the Lord, thy power, are always upon it from the beginning of the year, even to the end of the year. That is a law. So the Most High God is eye on that land. And he's seeing everything that's going on over there. He's seeing everything that these nations are doing over there. And what they're not doing and what they're doing against these laws in this Bible. So he's seeing what's going on over there. That's why he's going to bring this judgment upon us. And it says here, uh, in the third verse, for they have cast lots for my people, and have sold a boy for a harlot, and sold a girl for wine that they might drink. See that? The one the child of slave. You know what they used to sell our people for? Mustard, uh, mustard guns and wine. The so-called white man is still on the slave ship, and he documented this in history. He used to take little boys and go to bed with them. That's why you got so much homosexuality amongst the Negroes now. Because these white men raped a lot of our women on the ship. They threw a lot of brothers overboard. And they killed a lot of brothers that revolted on those slave ships. So it was a growing little passage coming into America. So the Lord said that to mine. And they have cast lots for my people. And have given a boy for a harlot. And sold a girl for wine that they might drink. See? They did that. They sold us a little auction box in the Lord. Right here, 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 right here,
everybody else. We're going to break up people. See? And over there, the, the Arabs had a big play in the slave trade. You know what I'm saying? They were still abusing you and your women. Selling you bad food, beer, and all that corn and stuff. Carrying their command, even supposed to be that stuff, but they're selling you. Because they use exploitation on our people and uh, oppression, just like the so called white man. So the Lord says, yeah, what they have to do with me on Kyrie and Zion and all the coasts of Palestine, they did what? All the coasts of these Arabs. What do you got to do with the Lord? They ain't got nothing to do with the Lord behind Christ. They ain't got nothing to do with, with, the, uh, uh, with these people. These Palestinians and these so-called Arab people that run around and talk about that uh, they can set up all the Allah, what models and all the things, blow up all the buildings in the world. The Lord is going to accept you. His people is his will. Okay, Kelly, you have your, your command, the book of Kyle, but we know according to this plan, the book of Genesis and Galatians and all the prophetic scriptures of the Bible, that that is talking about the children of Israel are the chosen, and we still are the chosen of the most high power. And it's recorded in this Bible, and it will never stop. Thank you. 
it's going to be done back to them because the most high is the right to the judge. See, we got to stop looking up to America and American justice system for, for justice. Trying to do it a democratic way. Trying to do it a, uh, the way these black leaders say to do it. We have to do it the way the father says to do it in the Bible. What is your point me? To the day our lives are too crazy, see? Because we got to wait for the Lord in his program and live this uh, uh, by faith and by the wrongs of the most high and trust in him with all our heart and soul. And he's going to bring the judgment upon these nations for what he did to us. So let's go to the book of um, Obadiah. And let's go to the 17th verse in the book of Obadiah. So the Lord said, they're going to be recompensed. And how they're going to be recompensed? I'm going to show you when Yahweh shall return, they're going to be recompensed also. See? And it says, for the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen. The word heathen means nations. It's translated from the Hebrew. It means nations. See? And it says, and for uh, what thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Meaning what? What the nations did to us in history. And what they did to us, selling us. And if we don't give them an eye to them, it's going to be done to them. Thou so saith the Lord. Because why? It must be put to soul. That's written in Galatians 6 and 7. How come our people forget about these scriptures? And all these clergy churches and Baptists and ministers and holy holy churches. How come your pastor and that thing up on the full page telling you this? Because you know why? A lot of them are bumping into hearsays and other documents of men. That's what they're dealing with. They don't see the program now. See? And it says, hey, uh, as I have done, it shall be done, done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thine own head. See? Because what they did, the most high will pay it back. And he's going to use Israel to do it. And it's when the time comes. See? And it says, hey, for as ye have drunk upon my holy arm, so shall you all of the heathen drink continually. Yea, they shall drink, and they shall swallow out, and they shall be. Thy reward shall return upon thine own head. For he has drunk upon my holy mountain, and maybe what? These people have drunk upon our holy mountain, maybe what? They have oppressed the people of Israel, and they're over there in the land of Jerusalem today. Talk talking about that day land. See? All these nations are over there uh, holding on to Jerusalem, see? And it says here, uh, he has also, uh, he shall all, uh, so, so shall all the heathen drink continually. Yea, they shall drink and shall swallow down. They shall be as though they had, they had, uh, had not been. No one means. That's what it means. But upon Mount Zion shall be delivered. Only Israel. Uh, Zion means black. Because the Israelites are going to be saved out of the uh, hands of their enemies. And the Israelites are the ones of the chosen. And the seed of Israel and the elect of Israel, they're going to go out and teach our people the salvation in Machiach, the Hamashah, and the repentance. That's the urge to our people who hear this truth today. See? And it says, but, but upon Mount Zion shall be delivered. And there shall be holiness in the house of Jacob. Uh, and uh, the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. See that? We're going to possess their possessions. Because the most high, just like when we came out of Egypt, the Egyptians gave us all their riches. When we come up out of America, <laughs> the most high going to reward us also. So look for these blessings. So let's go to the book of Acts real quick. Acts, the third chapter. Hallelujah, it is. Because this is what the Lord is doing, and this is what he's bringing forth in the Bible. And he's going to bring these things to pass in these last days, and we have to hold on to them. See what it says here? Acts 3.19. See what it says? Repent ye therefore, and be converted. Meaning what? You are born Israelites. You have to convert back what? In your mind. You got to eat up this book and be taught by the elect of Israel in the right way and the right spirit of, of the Most High be down the shine and the prophets and be educated to the knowledge of salvation. As it says in Luke 1, 68, on God. You need the knowledge of salvation and repentance. It's urged amongst the children of Israel. Because why? We're in the last days. All right? 
the captain of the destruction of Jerusalem has happened. And in the lights of him, America and throughout the world in captivity, and the Most High is calling to you to be, to return again. See? It says here, that your sins may be blotted out when the time of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. What's the refreshing time? Refreshing meaning what? You did it. You speak. Refreshing means also, his right brothers that know this knowledge, they need to be refreshed to refresh each other. Go back into these scriptures and go back to the basis of the scriptures and uh, go back to the basic laws, the way you treat each other, the way you treat your women, and the way you conduct yourself. Come away from these what worldly ways. Be conformed to this world from this world by the new in your mind. I tell you that in uh, Romans 12 and, and 2. All right? Give up these items. And these are uh, sorcery ways that you, that you have chosen. And follow the laws and the Bible and the faith of my Shaki Yahusha. See what it says here? When the time of the repression shall come from the presence of the Lord, and he shall say, Yahusha, Jesus Christ, as it's been here, which was before was preached unto you. How was Christ preached unto you before? It was written in the Bible. So now, some of our people back in ancient times heard his knowledge. Some of our people today are hearing the word of the Lord for what? The prophets. So they put that word out, see? And it says here. Who the heavens must receive until the times of restitution of all things. See, you want restitution? You want payback from slavery? You want to be reckon, uh, reckon, you want recompense? You have to do it through the plans of the Most High in the Bible. After all, we showed you today. How can you look at it any other way? This is what the Father wants you to do in this, in this time because He is the one that's going to initiate this judgment upon the nations. You don't have the power to do this. Alright? We're not preaching that we're going to go out and do this. We're preaching Mashiach Yahushua and the judgment of our Creator, the Most High. When the time comes and He gives us that power, we will be able to go up against our enemies and so forth. But right now, we are in the season of Ezekiel, uh, Jeremiah 16, 16, fishing season. All right? And then we shall send for many hunters when the time comes. See? And it says here, um, he shall say, now shall Jesus Christ which was preached uh, before unto you, whom the heavens must be seen to the time of restitution of all things. So the Most High is going to send his son, and he's going to set this kingdom in order in, in Jerusalem. And as it says in the book of Michael, the third chapter, the laws are going to come forth from Jerusalem. Because the people of Israel are going to be gathered from all these different areas where you scattered, scattered at the remnant. And then the Most High is going to put you back in that land of Jerusalem as the kings and queens of earth who you are. Right now, you're not the kings and queens of earth. You're uh, 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 slaves, mental and physical slaves. Throughout, uh, throughout the Americas and throughout the world. See what it says here? Who the heavens must receive in the time of restitution of all things. See, the time is coming for restitution of our people to be put back in their true uh, physical heritage and back in their land and back with the kings and the princes of the earth again. See that? And it says here. Of all things which the most high is spoken of by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began. So we went through some of the things that the Lord has promised us and they're going to come. See what it says here? For Moses truly said unto the prophet, the prophet of the Lord, your power, shall he raise up unto your brother, life unto me. Him shall he hear in all things, wherever he shall say. Who is that? According to the book of uh, all right. Books of the prophets. 